the five negative poisons or, or any negative emotions, all the negative emotions are dynamic energy. So every negative emotion that you are experiencing, anxiety, fear, are all dynamic energy. In a way, dynamic energy means it's, in a way it's pure energy. In a way, it's a flexible energy. In a way, it's, it's so changeable. In a way, you have some role in changing. In a way, you have power to change. In a way, it can absolutely transform your life into much greater. It can absolutely reconnect between two people. It can absolutely heal, heal the pain between two close ones and those emotions. Those emotions are. Uh, can do that. That's why it's a dynamic energy. Instead of saying anger is wrong, anger between us is wrong, I should not get angry at you. That means if anger is there, you're, if you're controlling your anger to feel which is already there, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, like a, really like a crime. Not and not allowing to feel what you what you have. That that you are taking away freedom to experience, experience something. But taking action on what you're feeling is something different. You don't have to take action on what is some something inappropriate. But able to feel what is there, it's a healing. So nothing wrong to have, nothing wrong to feel, not, nothing, nothing wrong to know the nature of that emotion. And it's great that you see that it is a dynamic energy. You see the possibility, maybe it's the only door you have to clear something in your life. It's the only door you have to heal that uh, negative relationship that you have for, for years with your father, your mother, your sister, your close ones. Maybe that emotion is the only really the doorway to heal. So how it can be negative? The door to healing, the door, 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 door to discovery, Door, door to realization, how it can be negative. It cannot be. It's a dynamic energy. You just have to understand, you just have to understand what it is. That's what it's saying. Dynamic energy. So follow, following after it. That's how we, we how do you say, following after it, it's a delusion, it says. Jesu Tama Tulu, delusion. You, you, you're getting caught up. You feel it. I feel that emotion. I feel agitated. I feel disappointment. Or I feel anger. And not feeling any space, feeling time is very short, space is very little, the energy, negative energy is very strong, action, negative action, email is very fast, the comment is it's like vibrating there almost, that they open up the whole negative dictionaries. Sentences are already spontaneously forming. And you watch. But not follow. You be aware of it, not follow it. Why? Why are you experiencing the way you're experiencing that moment? It's you lack the space. You lack the awareness. You lack the connection to yourself. That's why it's just kind of taking it off. 
Many things happen in organizations, in relationship, in your life, in your work. Many things happen that what you don't want because your presence is lacking there. When your presence is, you, when you are presence in there, it follows. There's a blessing of that presence. Things goes in the right way, or things people, or people, or your feeling, or anything does not go crazy. Presence has a power. So, so not following, uh, following is like a, a delusion. It's saying. Especially seeing them as an error is a mistaken. That's very, very important. Viewing them, viewing them as a mistaken is an error. Just let's, let's contemplate on that a little bit. Okay. I'm not trying to say it, contemplate on this a little bit in terms of trying to intellectually understand. I'm trying to say is that how often you do. Rec that recognition is far more important than trying to define the word. I mean, that definition exists. Many, many definitions exist. You don't, you don't, we don't need you. But we need you in terms of the recognizing in your own situation, in your own life, how many unconsciously that you label them as a mistake. We do that all the time. You feel a little bit disturbed disturbances towards somebody, you think, horrible. No, it's not horrible. You're disappointed by somebody, it's horrible. No, it's not horrible. Or somebody is disappointed by you, it's horrible. No, it's not horrible. It's emotion. It's a dynamic energy. There's some misunderstanding happen. There's some awareness are lacking. That there, it, the, some clarity is necessary. It's just these emotions are basically saying, wake up. When, you, when, when, you, when, you, when you, your alarm rings in the morning, do you say it's horrible? <laughs> horrible, maybe you do. <laughs> right? Maybe you do. But at least what it's saying is wake up. horrible, I hear you, I need to wake up. Okay, that's fine, that's a little, there's something there. Not only horrible and go back to sleep, horrible to hear the message of waking up, waking up, moving in life. So nothing wrong about it, so they're just able to see the way we look at certain things are labeling them as a negative is definitely a big problem rather than seeing a completely a door opportunity of growing, discovering, healing, expanding, joy. And most of these uh, emotions are absolutely, it's a door. 